guys, Maria here. I feel like I've not filmed a video in forever. And that's because I've just really not had time. Work's been super busy. And then on top of that, last week, my husband got sick and he has had the flu. And I've had my own little cold or something or other going on. Luckily, we're both starting to recover and I actually get to go back to work tomorrow. So that's great. But Courtney K tagged me in the Winterlicious tag. And I thought that would be really fun to do to jump back into making some videos. Um, yeah, let's get started. The first question is your favorite winter polish. This is my favorite polish. It's from China Glaze and the color is Swing Baby. I'm not sure how well it's going to come off in this lighting, but it's just, it's pretty sheer. Like even with two coats, it's pretty sheer, but it's very kind of silvery, but also bronzy. It's really not, it kind of looks gold on camera to me right now, but it's really not a gold. Um, it looks really nice. Um, and also I like it because it's a light enough color that if you get a chip or something on your nails, it's not super noticeable and you don't feel like I need to run home and take all my nail polish off right now. And it looks really nice also if you put a matte top coat over it, it looks really pretty that way too. Um, your favorite winter lip products? I have two. My first is Max Ruby Woo lipstick. I think red lips are so fun for Christmas and the holiday season and winter. Um, and then with that, it's important because this is kind of a mattifying lipstick. It's considered a retro matte. It's pretty drying on the lips. And it, by the way, that's not what I have on today. Today I am wearing Wet n Wild Party Persimmon, but I really like that color. And it's important to have moisturized lips because that does really dry my lips. So I've been really enjoying the Ultra Repair Lip Therapy. Um, I usually put this on just at night and then I wake up and my lips are pretty moisturized. Your most worn clothing item. Oh, it's back here. Okay, so I know this sweater is not like super cute or fashionable, which I'm not fashionable anyway. And I've even had people tell me it looks like the uniforms from Star Trek. I think it's Star Trek, but I still like it. So whatever. It's this sweater from Old Navy. I've had it for a few years. I don't think it looks that bad on, but it's just super comfortable. I've washed it a lot. So it's pretty soft. It's not too warm to where you're like sweating, but it's warm enough that you're not cold throughout the day. So this is my favorite. And back on the bed it goes. <laughs> Um, your favorite winter accessory? I don't really know if I have a favorite winter accessory. I'm not a huge jewelry person. I guess some boots. Like, I have a pair of Uggs that I've really loved and worn out pretty much. They're super warm. I didn't bring those up to show you because they're pretty nasty looking. But I think a good pair of boots are essential for winter. Um, your favorite winter beverage? I... Mm, this is a difficult one because I really enjoy tea um, in general, but specifically I'm a pretty big fan of Celestial Seasonings tea and every winter during the holiday time they come out with like, I think there's maybe five or six in the collection of holiday teas. And first of all, they're really freaking hard to find unless you have like a health store or something close by, but I really enjoy the... Um, sugar cookie sleigh ride is super good. It's really yummy. And also the candy cane lane teas. I've not been able to find the candy cane lane, but I have a couple of boxes of the sugar cookie sleigh ride. Um, your favorite Christmas movie. Mine is a Christmas story. I love that movie. I think I've been watching it like every single year since I was a kid. I always look forward to watching it. Actually, my husband and I just got done watching it. And I'll probably watch it again when TBS does um, the 24 Hours of a Christmas Story. I always look forward to that. Your favorite Christmas or holiday song? Um, I really enjoy Carol of the Bells. I don't know why. It's just very soothing and peaceful song to me. I just love hearing that song. Your favorite holiday or Christmas food? Mm, I this might be cheating, but I'm gonna go with the Thanksgiving food, pumpkin pie. Love it. <laughs> I really don't even know what else to say. I 
love food in general, but I really love pumpkin pie. Your favorite decoration this year? Um, I don't really have one. My husband and I put up a tree, but it's pretty simple. Nothing too crazy. Um, we, I mean, I don't know. It's just the two of us, so we haven't done a lot of decorating. <laughs> Your favorite present as a kid or as a child? I can remember, I'm not sure how old I was. I feel like I might have been around seven. And I received, like, I really wanted, they had these life-size, and by life-size, I mean it was like the size of a seven-year-old Barbie doll, and I really wanted that so bad. And I remember waking up on Christmas morning and opening it, and it was just like the best thing ever. We have pictures of me opening this, and it was just awesome. Um, what do I currently want for Christmas this year? This is actually kind of a hard question for me. I feel incredibly blessed to be where I am at this point in my life. Um, I'm very lucky. I know a lot of people are not as fortunate as I am. I I don't really want for much. I mean, yeah, there are some things like I wouldn't just run out and buy a brand new car or, you know, run out and be able to put all my cash down on a brand new home or something like that. But as far as like my day to day wants and needs, I'm pretty well taken care of, and I feel very fortunate that my husband and I are in that position. So I've really, to be honest, had a difficult time coming up with things for a Christmas list this year. Um, and it, maybe it's kind of weird, but I just feel very awkward as an adult to have a Christmas list. I don't know. My parents and my husband's parents always ask for one each year, and I always just struggle with coming up with things to put on it, which then kind of makes me feel guilty because then I feel like I'm just wanting things for the sake of wanting things, not really because I have a need or a strong want for something. So I don't really have a good answer to this question. And I don't know, that's just me speaking from the heart. Um, the last question is plans for the holidays this year. So my husband's family has there's three kids. And then my family, there's just me and my brother. Or I guess my brother and I, if you want to be grammatically correct. Um, and then all of the kids in all of our families are grown and live off on our own. And most of us are married at this point. So we don't like do the waking up first thing in the morning and opening presents or anything like that. But our families and I don't, our families and us don't live in the same city. So we'll be traveling back home um, for the holidays. Um, we usually stay with my parents or with my husband's parents. And so usually we have like Christmas meal, but for lunch, but we don't have like a traditional Christmas dinner. Um, in more recent years, they've been doing fondue, which is fine. I'm not a huge fondue person, but it works. Um, and then usually after that, we open gifts once everybody's eaten and settled and all of that good stuff. Um, I'm not exactly sure yet what my family's doing. My dad typically has to work on Christmas Eve. And then we have in years past opened gifts on Christmas Eve after he got home from work. He doesn't have to work this year, but my husband has to work this year and we live a couple hours away. So I'm, we haven't really decided yet what we're going to do. Um, I think my brother's girlfriend has to work on Christmas Eve as well. So I think we're going to end up opening on Christmas Day and eating and all of that good stuff at my parents as well. So we're still kind of figuring that out. As for like New Year's, we don't really have any plans. Um, we're not big partiers or anything like that. Um, so we typically will go out for like a nicer dinner or something. And we're kind of like old married people now <laughs> we'll come home if we're able to stay up and watch the ball drop it's pretty much a miracle at this point which makes me feel incredibly old but it is what it is and this is my life <laughs> um that's all i have though that's all the questions um if you enjoyed watching this i please hit subscribe down below that would be great i would love to have you following along on my channel also, if any of you are interested in doing this tag for yourselves, 
please do. I think pretty much every YouTube um, friend I have in our little community has been tagged at this point. So I'm just going to say, if you want to do it, go for it. Otherwise, I will see you guys again, hopefully sooner rather than later. Bye.